So I know that the word reaching into some places. Oh, yeah. I know that we feeling that we should live a life for a man that the Bible says took our iniquities upon himself. A man that the world turned their back on. He became ugly to us because the ugliness of our sins were upon him. That he became a scourge. He was beaten for our iniquities. And by his stripes, and I know that we start to feel some blows. I said, Christian, start to see where they're going wrong. Oh, yeah, we start to see some ditches yeah. and some glitches in our lives. And if you ain't see it yet, <laughs> hey, I'm going to call on a woman. That is going to point it out to you in a definite manner. Because today, if you shall hear the voice, harden not your heart as in the days of provocation when your father did it. What? They eat manna in the wilderness and are dead but today we bring the body of christ and we recognize it for what it is he said because if you eat of my body and you drink of my blood you do show my debt until I come, and today we have to keep the watch going until he come, because one day he said, feed them until I come. He said, feed them, feed them until I come.
And if you want to turn, come on, Jerusalem Apostolic Sanctuary. Thanks and praise. Yeah, man, we had to be short and sweet and quick. <laughs> and it's plenty thing, boy. Yeah. Woo. But hear what? I said, I give some, some, some vessels unto Saint Michael's house of prayer. Yes. So we have to think about these vessels. And I'm referring to us also. Amen. Vessels of honor. honor. Yes. Oh, vessels. Becoming walking worthy. <laughs> well, I stand up to give the devil said I was in the outer court. But I'm in the inner court now. <laughs> when we come in the inner court, there were three vessels before the veil. <laughs> Walk with me, saints of God. There were seven candlesticks on my left. There was the altar of incense in front of me. And on the right, I see the table of shoe bread. So I'm going to lie with the table of shoe bread this evening. Praise God. On that table, there were 12 loaves representing the 12 tribes. Representing all of us. And we come in to supper the table. Symbolic this evening, we give you a vessel which is good. We give you a vessel that is honorable. We tell you when you're in the altar call, wash up man, leave your sacrifices, clean up and come inside. Yeah. But you must be invited, you know. Yeah. You must be invited to the table. Believers in Christ, you must be invited. Come in to the house of God. Harden not your heart when you hear the word of God. As in the day of provocation. This evening I want to touch some heart. I want to touch some people out there. Who tell themselves, you know what? I'm not in a good place. I'm going to drink in too much of bitter water. Some of them is still in Lord But I remember David say one day, after that he had done all sorts of things, and he had battled, and he became the king of Israel, he said, Yeah, what now? If they had no body alive in the house of all, or the house of Saul, that I could go and remember and show some kindness. Because I'm a brother Jonathan. The Lord has been good to us. And when the Lord is good to us, we ought to show some kindness. They say, yeah, man. Johnny Turner has a sibling, man. And his name is Mephibosheth. We have some Mephibosheth among us. They said the man was crippled, you know. My Lord, yeah. There was a time when they were going to go out. They said he made serve and hold him as a babe. My Lord. And they were running. And my foolish head fell down. Yeah. And he became lame yeah. upon the legs. Yeah. Oh God, sometimes we lay in the house of the Lord. 
my Lord. Jesus. They say you know where to find him. All the way in Lodiba. Lodiba come like nothingness. Lodiba had no reason and no rhyme. I don't even want to say it have a place in Trinidad named Lodiba. I'm not putting my people in Lodiba. But what David said, he said, bring him out. Talking to someone this evening. Yeah. Come out. Come out, Anodipa. Come out. Come out, 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 you and your family bring them, bring them to the table as well. Yes, sir. And we will eat at that body. And we'll eat at that blood. Yes. And we'll be happy in the name of the Lord. Yes. You know what the lesson tell me? He said, if you eat of this body and blood unworthily, you go bring damnation to yourself. That would be good. I do all my young people to get all this. I'm told. Mm. Paul was talking about the body and blood of Jesus. That's right. Yes. He said, if you don't want to believe that thing we have in that vessel there in that chalice is the body of Christ, that will cause damnation on you. Mm. Talking about the body. Glory to God. Mother, some days you don't have host. If you have bread and bacon, you have biscuit and crits. If they don't believe that crits is the body of Christ, then they will go to the You see the red juice, the wine, the grape juice, water like this sometimes, it is water. But if you do not believe that that in that vessel is the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Come to the table of the Lord, people. Man. Come and eat. Come and feast. Don't stay in Lodi Bank. No matter what is your situation this evening. Come out of Lodi Bank. The king is calling you. He's calling you. Come on. Come on now. He said, come. This evening, there are six and a fifty one among us. Somebody sick this evening. Somebody sad this evening. Somebody lost the love they had this evening. There are some trouble going among us this evening. But the Lord tells me he will do a healing yeah. with the same body and blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. He says, often as you receive it and you take it. So don't stay away from receiving the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Whether it be your first Sunday, your second Sunday, whenever. Come and down. It does some healing to your soul. Yes. It does some healing to your mind. Oh, yes. It does some healing to your spirit. Come and die this evening. Don't want to let go of some of the things 
that are holding us back. On this spiritual walk, we are running a race. Yeah. <laughs> 
you press up on the ribs and you press it down with crush it and when we crush it you tell me ain't no more pumping stage how we come into the table of the Lord where we receive the body and blood but here what we are into the new time of God and after the pumping that's when the oil flowed man. I said the Lord want to touch someone this evening, Lord. Oh. I said he wants to touch somebody. Oh. <laughs>